Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to make stoves, waste oil burners and lots and lots of other DIY projects, start now by subscribing and click on the bell so that you don't miss anything. Here we go. So this is a Devilan uh, siphon nozzle kit if you like, okay? That's the adapter. It's, uh, it's fairly well machined, it's quite intricate. Um, so that's needed and this is the actual nozzle. Now the nozzles come in different sizes. It depends on, you know, how many BTUs you need per hour, that sort of thing. Um, you know, how many litres an hour, how many gallons an hour you want to burn up. Uh, in my case, I got a 0.7 um, US gallons an hour. Okay, so it's, you know, about three quarters of a gallon an hour. Um, that's suitable or uh, enough for my needs. Now, the thing is, with these burners, um, unlike a standard domestic burner where they've got a tiny little uh, jet hole in it, these have quite a large hole in them. So these get fed with compressed air um, at the back and they get fed with oil into the middle. Now I'm going to show that set, I'm going to show the pickup on it now in a second. Okay, so here we go. We've got some water in this little dish. It's just a, you know, a tin. Um, this is the Devilan uh, 17147, DLN 17147. Uh, it's the adapter. Now it's, it's crucial, it's needed. Okay, and this is the nozzle. Now th this nozzle I'm using is um, 0.75 I think, or 0.7 about three quarters of US gallon in there, okay? And one just goes inside the other. Okay, so the nozzle just screws into the adapter body, um, like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna tighten it up. It's got um, an O-ring at the bottom of it. You've gotta make sure you don't wreck that. Okay, so that's in. Now, I've rigged up uh, kind of a setup, compressed air line. Uh, I've got a gauge on it. Unfortunately, the gauge is just blocking a hole at the minute because the gauge goes up to about 300 PSI and we're operating in, in and around between 5 and 12, you know, so no use. But it, it blocks the hole for me for now. So if I open that, you can hear it. I don't have the, the pressure up. I have it up to 2 bar. It's about 30 PSI, okay? That's just to send it down the line. I control what comes out with this. Um, maybe you can hear it now. You know? So that's what's coming out now. And if I turn it down a bit, so it's not... You know, it's not a huge amount of air coming out of this, and I can kind of somewhat control it with the lever valve. Now, I could put a regulator on this, and I will in time, but just for this demo. So, I've got a hose, you know, on an airline with a valve on it. Essentially, that's all that is. I'm going to screw it into the back of the nozzle. Now, it's a quarter tread on the back of the nozzle, and it's one eight on the side of it. So, a quarter on, the, on the, the end of it, and one eight going into the side of it. Okay, so that's it. Now, we now have air coming out of the tip of the nozzle. Next step. Again, this is just a temporary setup. This is all I have um, in-house at the moment to kind of make a connection into this so you can see it. Okay, so... All right, now that's nothing special. Just think of that as a little lift, a little piece of pipe. Now, all I'm going to do, I'm going to dip this in the water and we'll see the spray pattern now of this. That's it, just for now. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see that. And I can turn that down. So in operation, it would probably be running like that. Okay, it's quite nice. Now, obviously, I just empty it now. Now there's lots of different ways of making these things. This is just one avenue I'm exploring. If this doesn't work, I'll do something else with it. Would certainly get this working. You know, it's just it's just a spray gun, really. But um, these things are, are beautifully engineered, really well made. Okay, and uh, that's just my pickup hose line goes into the back of it. Now what I need, this is the blast tube of these Riella burners. Okay, and what I need is I need for all of that to live in here. And obviously I can't do it this way because that wants to stick out the side of it and I need to travel parallel back to it. So the plan is something a bit different. So I've got a 1.8 lovely stainless steel male female elbow and it fits in there beautifully. Okay so I'll just leave it like that. So obviously that allows me to, to run two pipes, one feed, one eye line parallel which gets me outside of this blast tube. Okay, so there's the blast tube. 
and here we go, that's going to fit in there easily and stick out the, uh, the center of it, you can see it here, okay? So that's the plan anyway, this thing needs to live inside that blast tube, which it's going to do now. Um, so essentially what I need is I need a pipe to come out the back of this and travel in through the burner and I'm going to show that now in a few minutes. Now to take it just a little bit further, I have a food tin, I have some kerosene, I have a waste oil burner, Devilan waste oil burner nozzle and adapter cell. I have some compressed air and I'm going to do something with them all now. I have a blowtorch as well, so just, um, here we go, look. So I'm going to put the tin under the intake. You know, this, this bit here is the uh, suction side of it, you know, where the fluids go in. Okay, so this is empty. I'm going to put this in. Now, I am setting this up for waste oil, but at the minute, you know, it, it's a progression. I just want to see how it sprays, you know, that I can get a flame out of it, that I can attach the flame, because when I hit this, the flame's going to want to go away. Uh, but we'll try something now in a minute. So here we go, look, some kerosene. We'll put a, a drop in, not loads. Okay, so, you know, you can see what that was before and after. I put probably half the amount I had into that. Okay. Now, I'm just keeping it away from me. Oh, now, this is a fire hazard, obviously. You know, but if I was to put the, the blowtorch on that tin, you know, I'd have a flame here somewhere and it would be contained. You know, there's not going to be any explosions. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so just make sure this is working. Okay, kind of. Almost out of gas. Now, because I have a welder and a few other bits and pieces, I knock together a bit of a frame, okay? It's non-combustible, obviously it's steel. I have some galvy band, some perforated strip across the, the thing, so it's quite tight, you know, it's not going anywhere. Uh, I have a flexible hose. This hose is just the air line. It's just the, the air feed into the back of the nozzle. The oil line, you know, is down into the tin, and there's, there's probably about half an inch of oil over it, half an inch of kerosene over it. So I'm just gonna see if we get some sort of a spray pattern out here. And we do, okay? There we go, definitely. Now, I can't show you what pressure I'm using. I'm somewhere, you know, around maybe 10 or 12 PSI, but this gauge reads up to 300, so it's too, you know, too high pressure for it. So what I intend to do now is to give this some air, vaporize the air, vaporize the, the fuel, you know, out here, and I'm gonna try and ignite it. Now, it's not gonna stay lit, because there's no way of it attaching to here. It's not gonna be any explosions, but we get to see something. So let's get this going first. Okay, so. There we go. Now, so I'm gonna, <clears throat> now we've got a tiny amount of fuel in the bottom of this tin. Um, this won't attach, you know, because it's only getting air and fuel. It's not getting more air for combustion or whatever. But I just wanna see how it works. So this is what happens when you, you know, don't have a pipe around it to attach the flag. Here we go. Paper. Doesn't really want to stay attached. Okay, so let's try something. I don't know if this will work. But we'll see now. So my plan is to put this here. You know, I probably can't do it far enough. I don't know. Should we try it? So, paper off. Okay. Now, flame. obviously I was just messing around with it and I can't get the flame to attach um, easy enough to do but I don't want to pollute the place with um, kerosene now the way a standard Riello burner this is on its side but the, the way these work is they blow air out this chamber here the air blows through this thing and the nozzles at the front where the hole is what happens then is you know you've got the air going by there's an electrode 
you know, that sparks across the front of the um, the nozzle, and that's it. And the, the mystified, mystified, and the vaporized um, fuel, um, you know, explodes or ignites, um, you know, and it stays attached, and that's it. So. <clears throat> Um, I can't replicate that because I don't have it set up to do that yet, but in the next video I will. But let's have, a, have another look and see what we can do. So here we go, fuel on, well let's get the flame going first. Okay, flame on, not much of a flame now. So what I'm doing here now is I'm just modifying it so that we can, you know, push the nozzle further along the blast tube. I think we're going to get something to happen here. Um, I don't really have time now at the minute to, um, to do the waste oil part of it. Um, maybe a bit later, I have to head off. But look, you know, I don't know if you can see that, but that's the male-female elbow in there. And that means the oil feed can travel parallel with this hose. Now, this is purely temporary, you know, there's nothing going to blow up here. I have control of the air you know, which shuts off the fuel. So that's it. Okay, so we need to travel along from that now. Now, this is a bit like a science experiment. <laughs> okay, some kerosene. Now, if you can see it, this is the suction tube. Oil travels up the suction tube, you know, and gets sprayed out the front of the nozzle. Okay, so that's the plan. Now, I've dropped the oil feed into the kerosene. When I pull the trigger on this, or when I send air to the nozzle, there's a suction side of this. It'll suck, should suck, um, kerosene, blow it out the front, and I'm going to try and ignite it with this. What I'm also going to try and do, and the reason I kind of extended this on, is this is a blast tube of one of my real burners behind me here. Um, you know, it's, it's well engineered and everything, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide it over this and see if I can get the flame to attach you know, the flame to stay at the front of it and it can move the blowtorch away. So that's the plan. Now, when this is in a Riello burner, there's actually air being blown from the back of it. I'm not going to have that. So the flame that I generate at the front, hopefully will pull enough air behind it. Now in operation, when I finish this particular project, this is just kind of phase one. I want to see a flame. <laughs> so phase two then, I'm going to, you know, mount all of this inside one of these burners. In fact, inside this burner that I've hollowed out. Okay, so it's ready for action. Uh, just action will be a little bit later. Okay, so here we go. We've got kerosene. We've got a, a suction tube going to the nozzle. We've got compressed air. And if I open this, we'll have a spray pattern at the front. You know, we have a plume of, of uh, atomized kerosene. So, okay, let's get our torch going first. Okay, so I've got flame on. I'm going to send air down this black pipe, which is a mild steel pipe that I threaded on both ends. So I'm going to send um, air in this one and the oil is going to pick up on its own because of the air and surely effect. Okay, so here we go. Spray pattern, here we go. And as you can see, quite difficult to light. So let's try this. Spray pattern, put this over it. And you it here. around this is just seeing what happens you know this is your what-if scenario okay so we've got some quarter inch um, GV gun barrel or, you know mild steel tubing we've got a um, you know our adapter we've got our nozzle we've got a you know very small tube 1 8 tubing going into uh, some kerosene um, you know I want to see this working first or, or get doing something so look um, flame attachment that's you know in the next video but for now <laughs> I'm gonna shoot this stuff down this, this is scaffolding pole, um, you know, it's maybe two inch pole. Uh, I'm gonna send the flame down that and out the end of this. This pole will get warm and at some stage I'm gonna have to let it go. Okay, so nozzle on. There we go.
Okay, smoke. That's as much as I'm doing with it. Okay, this is after, after getting um, quite hot. I can still hold it, but in you know, a few more seconds I wouldn't be able to. Okay, so that's it. We've got an air feed into this, uh, into the back of the siphon nozzle, which causes the siphon nozzle to actually do what it's supposed to do and suck, you know, siphon oil out of the, uh, your container. Uh, I believe the lift is about four inches, you know, so you need something to kind of, uh, you know, allow that you've got four inches and no more because it won't suck up two feet or whatever, you know. So that's it. Um, what I'm going to do next in the next video is I'm going to put all of this inside this burner. Okay, so I'm going to house all that in there. Now I'll have to shorten pipes and so on and modify it, but that's for the next video. Okay, so that's as far as we got with it this evening. We have some flame, we have something happening, you know, it's, it is sucking up oil. Now I know it's kerosene. Uh, I get it moving on the kerosene first because it's easier to clean up and so on. And then we get it working on the waste oil. It'd just be trying, you know, just change over the fluids, literally. Um, so in the next video, I'm going to hook this all up to the real burner, uh, have it all working, have air coming in, coming in from behind it, and, uh, and then the forced air, you know, the uh, compressed air going into the back of the nozzle also for the spray pattern. So that's the plan. So I'll leave it there for tonight. Um, if you liked the video, please thumbs up. Subscribe down here, that'd be great. If you've been with me before, thanks very much. I love having you here. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.